Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. In this video, I'm going to need two color tag on an LK150 knitting machine. And the result is a bubble shape pattern. It has a very strong texture, but it's actually pretty easy to knit. So let's get started. I'm going to make a sample. So the exact gauge is not important. And you will need two different colors of yarns. First, I will decide how big the bubble you like. And uh, I will check the stitch counts first on the machine. Here I have three stitches out in the center. So each bubble is three stitches wide. And the next bubble will be in between those stitches. So we are alternating two bubble positions. So they are off centered. So after decide the stitch number, we can start cast on. I'm using e rub cast on here for my sample. And I'm using tension five here. I need one row, hand some weight, and start with a few rows of plain stitches. Now I'm ready to start a bubble. So I'm going to change the color of the yarns. And I will just place my first yarn in the corner of my table. Or you can place anywhere below the table. So it doesn't get in the way when you need the next color. And then we are going to start the tuck stitch. So we will push down the first lever on the top on both left and right sides. And we will start pulling out the stitches that's going to become the bubble stitches. We'll push those needles to the D position. So you will not need. And then we will need one row. And then we will start pulling out the same stitches again, just like before. And uh, need one row. And we will keep repeating that for a few times. Depends on how tall you want your bubbles to be. I need about eight rows of the same tuck stitches. You can need six rows or try to experiment with different yarns to see different results. After you're done with this section, we are going to need a few rows of plain stitches again. So we have to change the yarn back and place in the carriage again. And then we will push the top lever back. So we are ready to knead the plain stocking as stitches. You can knead as many rows as you like. I have four rows of plain stitches. And then I'm going to start the bubble again. So I change the yarn again to the bubble color, just like before. And then I will set the lever to tuck stitch. And then I start to pull out the needles. I like to turn it into bubble stitches. And this time I'm going to offset from the first bubbles. So I leave more stitches in the beginning and the end. And for the size of bubble, I still use three stitches. And we will start knee one row and then repeat that. Pull out the same stitches, knit one row, pull out the same stitches, and knit one row. For a total of six or eight rows. And then we will change the yarn and knit a few rows of plain stitches. And then start the bubble stitches again using the first interval of the bubble positions. So we just keep repeating those process. One section of bubble stitch, one section of plain stitch, and then bubble stitches again, but it's off centered. You can start to see the pattern. The floating will be on the back side. And I also try the four stitches bubbles to make the bubble bigger. And 
And I have another sample with uh, blue and white yarn. And you can see different patterns here. So you can decide your own size and position of the bubbles and change the colors. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and happy knitting.